Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday morning. This uh, rather nice day, actually. It's going to be a sunny day today. Uh, be blessed. Um, Matthew chapter 23. And we're looking today at verse 28. So, you too outwardly appear righteous to people, but inwardly you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. So Jesus is not messing about with these guys. He's really pressing into them. He's really having to hit the hammer, the hammer hard on the now. He's trying to say to them, look, you need to see exactly what you are and how you present yourselves. So he gives them that commendation. He says, outwardly, you look just fine. No one can make any negative comment about you. You look good, you dress well, you smell nice, you walk well, you talk well. Everything is good and hunky-dory. But there's a problem. The problem is it's all on the outside of you. It's what you are presented to people and you appear as a righteous person. But the problem is you're not righteous. That where you should be righteous, you're not righteous. So Jesus has revealed to us that it's not the righteousness that we present to people outside. So if you like how well we are in acting out righteousness, that's not what God is looking for. And that's what religious people do. Religion will draw you to a place where you present yourself as being something, but inwardly there's a secret life going on. And Jesus is saying to them that the secret life is where the problem is. The inside of you, the very essence of who you are, there's a problem. You present yourself as righteous, but inwardly you're unrighteous. And that means you're a hypocrite. You are not being what it is that you're being inside out of you. What you're doing is you're trying to sell people the idea that you're a good, godly person. A bit like Ananias and Sapphira, who tried to present themselves to Peter as being someone who was generous. But Peter says, why have you tried to lie to the Holy Spirit? And that's the problem. You can't lie to the Holy Spirit. You can't deceive the Holy Spirit. In fact, you don't want to deceive the Holy Spirit. There are implications if you try to, in effect, insult the Holy Spirit. Just ask those two. They are tell you. No, God wants to deal with the issues not outside, but inside. And the reason for that is because until he gets the inside, then he's not going to see a genuine sincerity on the outside. I said yesterday in my preach, God deals with the root to resolve the problem of the fruit. Because if the fruit is bad, it's because the root is bad, because the seed is bad. No, we need to grub out the root to get rid of the bad so that the fruit can become good fruit. So that we genuinely are what we are inside, outside. Have a great day. Be blessed. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you tomorrow.